Are you watching me? Hmm? I am. I'm oh. always watching you. <gasps> That's creepy. Always, Joe. Like I said, Tuesday, gonna be some Last of Us 2 day. I'm very excited. I know it doesn't sound like that in my voice right now, hey, but I really, really I'm am. Learning a new skill. <laughs> I know I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna cry probably multiple times. And it's not gonna be that, like, one tear runs down the side of your face. No, it's gonna be ugly crying. Like, heaving. <laughs> heaving sobbing is what I anticipate uh, my future to be like in this game when I play through it. I will not be streaming that because I don't like the concept of another person watching me cry <laughs> as I play the video game. Maybe the second playthrough. Um, whoa, this tree is glitching. There's This tree is having a dance party. Oh yeah. Yeah. Boots and caps and boots and caps and boots and caps and boots and caps. Okay. Finding out this the situation with the Destiny groups and the streamers. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you want to see moving forward from potentially Bungie or the community as a whole? Do you think would be a, a good way to to assess some of this? Um, well, they've already started responding to some of this stuff. Um, pretty pretty well. Uh, I think they need to be naming it though, like, because they talk about you know, you know, being good to each other, and you know, we won't tolerate harassment in the community and all that stuff. But I think they need to be specific about like, they need to be saying like, you know, men who use their power like this, and you know, they will not be welcome in our events. And they've a couple of community managers come forward and said like, you know, if you do this kind of stuff, you will not be welcome um, at Destiny events. Mm -hmm. um, there was another announcement, um, different issue, but they were saying, hey, if you have any derogatory comments um, of any kind in your stream and you submit to Movie of the Week, Destin is a Movie of the Week, um, then it won't count, you won't use it, um, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're doing, they're pretty good um, so far. I think it's going to be coming down hard on these streamers who do make the game a lot of money. They do, they do right. bring lots of awareness to, to Destiny and all that kind of stuff, but um, you need to be unequivocally stating this kind of behavior is unacceptable, and they need to be following through on you know um, consequences for people that um, do this stuff. Right. And again, there's there's time and a place for redemption, all that kind of stuff. But um, that should only happen if they if people who are banned and that kind of stuff demonstrated authentic desire to adjust their behavior and stuff like that. Um, but you're right. There needs to be actionable consequences for people who are who are being terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's important that we frame those consequences in the appropriate light too. Where it's, it's not that like this this one streamer, for instance, he's lost all these um, endorsements, he's been kicked out of these these teams, and all that kind of stuff. And there's again, there's the thing about like all well, his career suffering and stuff like that because of these allegations. And I think when we look at the, what's happening, he's the one who brought this on himself. Mm -hmm. right? He's the one who harassed all these women over many, many years. He's the one who made all these choices to behave this way. He's the one who's done this, right? Um, it's not these evil people lording over these innocent dudes just coming down with the ban hammer. It's, like, again, it's Bungie responding appropriately to people that are being shitty, right? Mm -hmm. yep. If you're going to harass people in our community, then you're not allowed to play our game, right? Companies need to be clear about where they stand on the issue, right? And not waffle. I don't know. Hey, motorcycle. <gasps> where? Give it to me. No, I did not mean. Hey, jumping on a cop car. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey. It's a little roadster. Hey, cutie. Uh, ME3 just got added to Steam, too. That's my frustration with that, is Origin. There's a rumor that Origin's gonna shut down one day and then all of your games on Origin are just gonna disappear. Um, I'm 
don't think I'm worried about it because I think I have a disc version of all of them anyway, but you're just like, if Origin goes, is it just the online component of the game that's disabled? Or is it you literally can't play the PC version of the original games anymore? That would be a really shitty move. They'd like, have. that sucks if that's true. Also, the game does authenticate. Yeah. When you log in, right? Yeah. Alex, lol. The Steam version actually installs Origin. I don't think Origin is going anywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> EA's so like Steam nah. installs Origin, <laughs> so you can play Mass Effect. That's stupid. What the hell? What the hell? I guess I guess I'm a little too naive on that statement of thinking that EA would do anything to get rid of their useless platform. Oh. <laughs> Let's just let it die. I mean... Uh... I lost. Ooh, what's this? Ugh. Is it just me or is this, this sun... This is a little creepy. This is a little... um. Uh, <laughs> what does this remind me of? Oh! It's, it's definitely uh, Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. Like, that face. Please tell me someone will agree with me on that. Like, you just look at that face, and you're like, that's that's gluttony off of Fal Full Metal Alchemist, for sure. Val, 100% agree. Yes! You can't say that. Last week you said that, uh-huh, that other non-anime was the must- The what? Non-anime was must-watch after- It is a non-anime! It is a cartoon. It is written by Nickelodeon. Don't fight me on this. I will win. <laughs> It is an American show. It is not anime. Full Metal Alchemist was made in Japan. It is an anime. When we went to the Ghibli Museum in, in um, the Mi Mi Mitaka, is that right? Mi Mitaka, yeah. I think so. Mitaka. I think that was the That was the best right place to visit. Left. That was so fun. I wanted to play in the cat bus more, but there were too many kids around. I know. Like, move, small humans. This is for my childhood memories. Get out of the way. <laughs> You're too young to know this. You weren't even alive when this concept was made. Get out of the way. It's not for you. I'd push a child. Agent. I end yet. It happened. I thought I was going to make two hours tank, today. Though. Whew. Thought I could make it. I didn't. I didn't. I almost did. Interesting. I'm also. Whoa. Jeez. That's dark. That's a bunch of bodies. Uh, I thought this person was wearing a helmet and the tree branches behind it was like an antler thing. I don't know why my brain did that. That was a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick roll call of things that we need to keep in mind and close to our hearts. So Black Lives Matter, Happy Pride Month, Trans Lives Matter, uh, stay cool, stay strong, have a great week, mm -hmm. and uh, see you on the next one, yeah?